Dundalk weren't in action last week, but would their previous week's 2-0 Cup win in Cove be the catalyst to reignite their season and instil the winning mentality that's been missing of late? On Friday, they took on Shelburne. Twelve days between the FAI Cup win down in Cove and this league fixture against Shelburne. Plenty of time for Filippo Giovanioli to get his message across on the training pitch. Here is Michael Duffy, seen on the inside by point and away from Deegan. Michael Duffy, what a goal! Magnificent! His fourth of the season, his first since that terrific header at Dalymount Park. And Filippo Giovanioli's home debut off to a flyer here. An absolute thunderbolt from one of the league's top talents. And no chance as it whistled past Colin McCabe. Cholovic with the outswinger, Gartland's header, 2-0! And yet to play 11 minutes. Well, we wondered how the early stages might go for Dundalk after Patrick McElhenney was lost to an injury in the warm-up. But 2-0 up in quick-fire fashion. Brian Brennan seems to be on the deck for Shelburne. and he was the one detailed to keep tabs on. Brian Gartland couldn't stay with him. Great delivery from Cholovic, met by a textbook header from Brian Gartland. for Macmillan, strong work by Dan Byrne though to step out in front and a lovely ball down the right hand side, here's Fernandez to the end line, digs out a decent looking cross as well and that's headed over by Dale Rooney he's got some good goals already this season, Dale Rooney now Poynton fairly tight angle, whips it in to one Dan Byrne with a fantastic flashing header, that flew beyond Aaron McCary Great header, but what a delivery that from Poynton. So much speed on it, nice and flat as well. Dan Byrne just had to get to it. In the second corner, and Shelburne looking to cause havoc again. Oh, penalty! The referee has seen something in there. And the yellow card out as well, this being shown to Brian Gartland. He looks bemused, Chris Shields likewise. Seemed to be a tangle with his one-time teammate, Kieran Kildoff. And Brian Gardland suggesting he was as much sinned against as sinner here. Let's take a closer look. That looks very, very harsh indeed. And it falls to another one of the excellent dark men, Georgie. Pointing to step up and make it 2-2. Fantastic fight back to me and Morris's men. And what a helter-skelter first half this has been at Oriel Park. Now to Leahy on this left-hand side. They off from Macmillan. Dan Byrne leaves him to go and engage Duffy. Duffy clips across in, takes a deflection. Lee is in the penalty area. Sharp reactions there from Colin McCabe. Gartland. Macmillan his target. And Deegan and Dan Byrne have left it to each other. Here's a chance that Sean Murray hasn't been able to take. Hesitation at the back for Shelburne. Quinn. Checks back out left. Sluggard goes with him. Here's Ryan Brennan. Always oh, good for an effort or two on goal in a game, but this one never troubling McCary. Shell side that has arrived four unbeaten between league and FAI Cup. They've shown a lot of character here this evening. 2 0 down early on. Fighting back to 2 2. And Dork have worked this well though. Cholovic down the right hand side. His cross is a real tempter. Oh, and Duffy. Well, that would have been some finish from Michael Duffy. And it wouldn't have been surprising had he pulled it off here. Cholovic, left foot or right foot. Brilliant cross to the back post, and Duffy at full stretch just couldn't control it. Cholovic, held up by Quinn, who stands his ground. And Shelburne can clear. Shields well positioned for Dundalk. Here's Gartland, a chance to step in, looking for Cholovic, intercepted by Quinn. Oh, well, now he's lost out to Slogger, who steps on. Oh, and smashes one into the top corner. What a stunning strike from Greg Slogger to put Dundalk back in front. Well, back in the starting 11, that's his second goal for Dundalk, adding to his strike up in Valley Buffet back in March. But this one will live long in the memory. Quinn was looking to be positive, to look forward, to nick a ball into Deegan. But Slogger saw his chance, and how he punished Shells with an absolute screamer. Kelly 
Need a foot down this right hand side. The cross just headed off target by Macmillan. Sharp work by the substitute Daniel Kelly. Rooney's corner. Plenty of air on that one. And Sean Hoare can head it clear. Picked up by Deegan. Oh, he's nicked a lovely ball inside. Duffy wrong side of Dan Byrne. And Carl Shepard free header. Oh, but he's put it wide. What a chance. And will they get a better one? Excellent work from Gary Deegan. Potted a lovely ball to Dan Byrne. Got his head up, got his cross in. So much time for Carl Shepard. Couldn't make the most of it. Oh, Kelly has nipped in here. To win it for Dundalk or Dua. And to Kelly again. Sean Gannon popping up in the penalty area. Well, he missed his effort so much so that Colin McCabe was uh, almost caught out by it. Lovely first touch from Sean Gannon. Second didn't quite compliment it. Well, that's it. A terrific encounter shaded by Dundalk. Shelburne showed plenty in fighting back from that early two-goal deficit, but ultimately a game decided by a strike worthy of winning any game. Greg Slogg at the match winner. Dundalk head back into Europe with three league points in the bag.